I'm Kim Carter and I work as a newly qualified keeper in the reptile department. So big headed turtles are really special because they are monophyletic, which means that they, their genus is the only one in their family, so there's no other species really like them. So their head's so big that they can't actually retract it into their shells like other turtles would do. Partially because they're very territorial, so they'll use it for fighting, but also they're crushing their prey, so they eat a lot of like crustaceans, um, crabs, shellfish, so they need it to chomp. So one interesting fact which I love about them is that they're actually really good climbers. He has been doing it a lot lately while he's been searching for females and you wouldn't think, being just a turtle, that they would be able to do it and also being quite a heavy one. But people in the wild have actually found them up trees and they use not only their big claws but also their long tail to sort of anchor them against the wall. So I love working with these turtles, they're my favourite by far, so every day is lovely but the best day working with these guys has got to be when the babies were born. So we had a few issues the year before, so them finally hatching and being perfect was such a relief and such a happy moment. They were just adorable, bright green and orange and tiny. Big headed turtles are under threat from a few different reasons, uh, mostly human based. So they get taken for illegal pet trade and also for food. Our four animals are actually from the illegal pet trade, so they got seized in Toronto and then ended up here. There is a bit of habitat loss, so they're from high mountain streams in Vietnam. It says people keep encroaching on it, they're losing their habitat. So this cell works uh, in collaboration with the ATP, which is Asian Turtle Program, and Indo-Myanmar Conservation, um, and they deliver all the on-ground work and we help support them. Uh, so before we do any breeding, they have vet checks just to make sure that they're in good health and they're ready to do it. So the females got ultrasounds to make sure their follicles were developing correctly and just a sort of general check over. And then the babies, which we bred last year, they get routine checks to make sure they're growing okay. So they'll get x-rays to make sure their bone density is the way it should be and that they're growing fine. This breeding is really important, so we're the only UK zoo to hold these animals and only a few institutions around the world hold them, a lot in America. So it's really important for us to do these breedings and to have this captive population of babies to sort of further advance our population that are in zoos, but also to help with any research. The more we can learn about these species, the more we can help in, in situ conservation as well. Thank you so much for supporting ZSL and securing a future for wildlife like these big-headed turtles. <laughs>